I'm uh, mildly neurotic about printing these decks. My name is Aaron, and I love designing playful experiences for children who are ill. What I know from having human growth hormone deficiency as a child is it's really scary. No child should ever have to have that feeling. I've always loved tinkering and building. My fascination with robots really blossomed when I was in college and actually through the project that ended up creating our company Sproutel. I started observing families of children with type 1 diabetes. What we learned is that kids were acting out all of these medical procedures with their stuffed animals. We designed a robot, Jerry the Bear. This is Jerry the Bear for children with diabetes that would exhibit the same symptoms as them. My blood sugar level is 149. A robot that they could care for that could be just like them. He has one right here. And I have one right here. Yeah, you do. While our initial insight was for children with diabetes, we've seen that the same thing holds true for children with cancer, and that's what inspired us to then create my special Aflac duck. The duck that we created for children also has cancer a friend who's just like you, who's going through the same experiences as you, to provide comfort. Duck is singing! Yes. The duck is fully responsive to the child. It has sensors in its cheeks, down its back, and under its wings, so as they pet it, as they cuddle with it, the duck is reacting. <laughs> It is very difficult for them to communicate their feelings. So we have this series of tokens that we developed that we call feeling cards. And each one has a different emoji on it. Happy, silly, scared, mad. And you can tap them right to the duck's chest and it'll emote. <laughs> this is the sad card. <laughs> it gives them a way to communicate to their caregivers that's less stressful than being asked, hey, how do you feel about getting chemo? using the app that the duck comes along with. They get to control when their duck receives chemotherapy treatments. You can also do things like give your duck a bath because it's really stressful for kids to get a sponge bath. We had a parent call us up and tell us that their child started to refer to their diabetes as a superpower. And that's the feeling that we want to give to every single child with illness. It was incredibly emotional to, to work with the, the kids. There was a little boy named Kyrie who, every time I would try to leave the room, he would grab my finger and he just like wouldn't let go. And through the time that we were testing, Kyrie's cancer actually went into remission. He finished treatment. <laughs> and that was just the best possible feeling that we could have had. Sorry. <laughs> September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. We're rolling out ducks to kids. It's so cute, it's awesome. My hope is that this work inspires others, that it inspires big companies to change the way that they think about healthcare. Someone's got his book bag on. That inspires other people who want to start companies about, hey, how can I change the way that I'm thinking about creating responsible technology, about creating technology that empowers people.